So this is a little uh, teaser video. Hopefully I'll uh, make a more in-depth video on how I did this. But uh, this is about uh, how I converted a three horsepower, or sorry, three phase, five horsepower Kaser uh, rotary screw compressor to run on a single phase input VFD. Uh, we'll look in the control cabinet here. Without seeing it before and after, you won't really notice the difference, but there was a big block between here and here. The main contactor, an overload, and a Y delta start contactor, Y. Y start delta run contactor. Um, I replaced it with these large terminal blocks. This is uh, taking the, just making all the connections for the 12 lead motor. Got our uh, AC from the VFD coming in here. Uh, this is uh, this relay turns on when the main contactor would have been called by the uh, by the control module here. Uh, that also provides a, a feedback to that control module, saying that the contactor closed. This one, uh, this relay closes when the compressor calls for air, when it starts actually compressing air. And this one is actually for the uh, overload on the VFD if it, or if it trips. This trips out what would have been the circuit for the, uh, the thermal overload. That would have been sitting right about here, or right next to the contactor. So uh, coming around the side, I bought, uh, put on a, an 80 amp three pole disconnect. Uh, I don't like it facing out the side here. I got to make a bracket to turn it, but I haven't had time to. Coming around the back of the compressor, I got our uh, low dollar condensate collector. And uh, oh, right here, I used uh, the high flex black one inch uh, flexible conduit. And I actually put uh, an LB here with a couple screws out the back to make it nice and secure and clean. Painted it black. Conduit runs up to this way undersized electrical enclosure. This was a mistake on my part ordering it. Um, I've got uh, a couple inches underneath. This is a 12 by 12 enclosure. I'll be going to a uh, 14 inch tall enclosure by whatever width I can get. Uh, power comes in, goes through the 40 amp class T fuse, goes through a uh, EMI filter, and then into the drive. This is a Invertec. Opti Drive E3 series, and this takes uh, 230 volts single phase input. You see, there's just uh, two wires on the ground up there, and outputs three phase for up to a five horsepower load. Um, only one of two or three drives I could find that did that, and the other ones all were no name uh, or low dollar uh, Chinese import. The Huyang. Uh, Drive is the first one that comes to mind, and there was another one sold by Drive's Warehouse that I just hadn't seen any uh, any reviews, any experience with, so I went with this. Uh, about $500 for this drive. I think it was uh, 60 for the filter, uh, 22 for the block. The fuses cost like $12 a piece. Cooling fan that's way undersized. When the new enclosure, when I order a new enclosure, I'll have to get a bigger fan. Uh, I think that's like 60 bucks from Automation Direct. Uh, could have gone cheaper, but I was in a rush. Well, just didn't have the patience to uh, mill out the side of the enclosure and put on a filter and individual components from McMaster. And then it's the exhaust. There's no the, originally there's little flappers in here like a dryer vent. They took those out, and the inlet comes with a filter media. I took that out too. So uh, let's turn this on. So this is the main disconnect. Turns the power on. That's just to save uh, parasitic losses when I'm not using the compressor. Compressor comes up. Hit the power. The motor now spins up. This is unloaded state, not compressing air. Um, 30, 30 hertz. Now it went up to 60 hertz there. Now it's compressing, building air. This is just running at 60 hertz like it would off of a regular three phase line power. It'll run up to uh, was it 120, I'll say 120, 125. For some reason, I'm not thinking of what it is. Uh, oh, yeah, 125. Right there. 
So this is just a 60 gallon tank and airline, so this will build up pretty quick. And then we'll hear it, uh, hear it kick down to what would be the unloaded state where it closes the intake and I think uh, closes the exhaust. So it's not compressing air, not putting air into the system. And uh, I have it set to, when it kicks back to that state, it runs at 30 hertz, which uh, drops my power consumption significantly to about 20% of what it is right now. Um, this is right over the vent, I don't know, hopefully it's not too much air noise, but there's that 30 hertz. There's still air flowing. Um, you can hear the VFD whine a little bit. A lot of the fan noise you're hearing is the uh, refrigerator dryer that's back here. So this is uh, this is it. So it just toggles between this and 60 hertz, or when the controller wants it, shuts off. But very happy with this upgrade. Um, I was running on a uh, American Rotary phase converter before, and uh, this is always a motor drone in the background. A lot of people don't notice it, but it bothered me. So I did this. Hopefully, uh, like I said, I'll get a more detailed video showing electrical diagrams and I hooked everything up and whatnot sometime in the future.